Welcome everyone. It's good to be with you all again today. Our lesson today is about the Holy Spirit that gives us power. But first, let's start the lesson by singing together. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom or the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Most of your parents will have a phone or an iPad 
and you might even have your own portable music player. If you do, then you know that before it can make music, it needs to have batteries. If it has built-in batteries, it needs to be charged. The batteries give it the power that it needs to be able to work properly. Without batteries, it can do nothing. Without batteries, it has no power to do what it was created to do. Before Jesus returned to heaven to be with his Father, he told the disciples that they would be able to do greater things than he had done when he was on earth. Now Jesus did some pretty amazing things, didn't he? He healed the sick, he turned water into wine, he even made the blind see and the lame walk. Where were the disciples going to get the power to do such great things? Well, Jesus promised them that he would ask the Father to send the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit would give them the power to do great and mighty things. It happened just as Jesus said it would. On the day which is called Pentecost, the disciples were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and began to preach and teach about Jesus. They were able to do these things that they've never done before just because the power of the Holy Spirit was in them. In Acts 3 verse 1 to 11, we read what happened to Peter and John. Please watch this video with me. Stories of the Bible. Peter heals a beggar who can't walk. This is Peter, hey who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. As they neared the temple, a man who couldn't walk from the time he was born was being carried in. Each day, the man was put beside the temple gate so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for some money. Please help. Peter said, look at us. The man looked up at them eagerly, thinking that they would give him some money. But Peter said, I don't have any money for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Then Peter took the man by the hand and helped him up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up and began to walk, then walking, leaping, and praising God. Come on! He went into the temple with them. All the people saw him walking and heard him praising God. Wait, is that? I think so. When they realized he was the man who couldn't walk who had been sitting outside the gate asking for money, they were absolutely amazed. Wow! Peter asked the people, what's so surprising about this? Why stare at us as though we made this man walk by our own power? He reminded all of the people that it was God's power who healed this man and encouraged all of them to turn from their sins and follow God with their whole hearts. Did you know that you and I have that very same power available to us today? The Bible says that all who are led by the Spirit are children of God. We who are children of God have the power to do great and mighty things, not in our own strength, but through the power of the Holy Spirit that is within us. Let us pray. Dear Father, we pray that we will be filled with the power of your Holy Spirit, just as the disciples were on the day of Pentecost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing one more song together. Holy Spirit fills me up. Fills me up until I overflow. From a thimble to a cup. From a river to the deep blue sea. Holy Spirit lives in me. Holy Spirit.
now it's time for your activities that you will also find on the website. See you next week. Bye-bye.